you know, to be comfortable with yourself. Anyway, another thing about massage is you can get them at spas, and spas have spa treatment menus, and there's options you can get on the treatment menu, and they all start with things like retreat to your own utopia, or serenity will be yours. And that's how they begin an explanation of how being slathered with a bunch of different vegetables, this platter right here, is going to be a religious experience for you. You know, I'm there reading the menu, like, <laughs> I always wonder, I feel questions about God, I'm <laughs> questions. And so I choose the voice of God, carrot celery wrap. Perfect for me. And that's why I'm convinced, you know, to spend $200 to have someone I don't know scrub salt all over my body, hose me down, slather me with carrot and celery infused lotion, and wrap me up in a warm wet sheet that grows colder and clammier by the second. For my enlightenment. So I'm laying there in this room alone, wrapped up like a burrito, which I guess I kind of am, because the veggies that are in there with me, you know, I'm the meat and it's the veggies, and it's not, there's no beans in my burrito, but, you know, anyway, it's sort of detail. Anyway, I'm freezing, I can't move my arms, and the joyous sounds of birds and babbling brooks are coming the speakers at me, and you know, then I realize, I really have to pee. <laughs> and I bet it would warm me up if I did. <laughs> that would help. <laughs> the whole experience sort of led me to realize that I was angry. I was really angry. I didn't want to be wrapped up like that. I didn't want to be covered with vegetables. The whole thing kind of sucked. <laughs> so I was leaving, and the spa desk lady could tell I was not having a good time, and so she tried to offer me another treatment. She said, you could have a hot mud mask or a seaweed facial. And because of my you know, aggravated condition that I was in, I thought that she said a semen facial. <laughs> which stopped me in my tracks right there. <laughs> wow, why didn't I see that on the menu? <laughs> That's an obvious choice. <laughs> and I thought, I wonder how they sell that. I wonder what the marketing point that is. <laughs> Looking for a creamy complexion? <laughs> Try our decadent semen facial today. <laughs> semen has gobs of protein, collagen, and moisturizing seminal fluid, which is everything you want and nothing that you don't. <laughs> you will reach new levels of serenity when warm semen is dribbled all across your face and neck, fresh from your therapist. People will be clamoring to know what treatment it is that you have, and you and your therapist emerge with a fresh and healthy glow about you. <laughs> I thought that that was brilliant marketing, really, but the, the flaw, the major flaw with the semen facial in marketing is that if you ask around, they're really easy to get for free. <laughs> I recently was invited to a passion party. I don't know if any of you guys know what that is, but it's like a Tupperware party sort of event for nice ladies and moms to get together and drink wine and, you know, look at and possibly buy toys that are not necessarily considered nice. They're not like Yeah. Yeah. A little bit naughty. I just want to Oh my god. Anyway, we're passing around, at this party, you know, we're passing around all these appliances, electronic devices, you know, cat-shaped creations, things with cords, like, this is some serious, serious stuff. And my first thought when I saw all of these things was, wow, I really feel sorry for men. Because these things can do it all. And they can do it all simultaneously, which is important. Men, men, it's important. Yeah. Yeah. And I felt like, you know, sex toy companies were really likely to make male genitalia obsolete. Like floppy disks. We don't use those anymore. They have no function. There's something better than floppy disks. Anyway, I, I was picturing the next generation of women 
raised on these toys, you know, when they're finally confronted with the real thing for the first time. <laughs> Is that all that it does? <laughs> does it have any other features? <laughs> My favorite feature is G-Spot Scooper action. <laughs> I'm not the only one who likes that feature. That guy, that guy likes that feature. That's good. I, you know, I don't mean to be disappointed, but I didn't really feel like you had that as an option. G-Spot Scooper action. And I also, I like the different vibrating speeds that you can uh, Hide and low, depending on where you're at, the different skin. I didn't, I don't mean to complain, so, but, but it just, you know. But the thing that really was the hardest for me to go without was the tickling bunny ears, the, the ticklers, you know. I kind of need those. Those help. I just wanted to take this moment to say that this is just a character that I'm making up. You guys want to It's nothing to do with me. <laughs> Okay, no problem. Anyway, anyway, back to the party. Let's go back to the party. And we're passing around all the different, you know, events, toys, whatever. And this one thing that comes to me is called a tongue dinger. It's like a little, it's like a little anatomically correct little tongue on a pedestal. And it, you know, it's like latex or something, just a tongue. And it has an on-off switch, and when you turn it on, it gyrates around. It's a little. It's like, that's pretty. You know, it's such a different, you know, body part than usually you're passing around at that kind of party. I was like, a tongue, great, I'll get one. So I got one. And I took it home with me, you know, and the next day I was nursing my wine hangover and, you know, cleaning up my house, cleaning up my son's toys. And I picked up his three-foot stuffed Elmo doll with the big, kind of wide-open, smiling mouth. Perfect kind of mouth. Elmo. <laughs> I'm not sure why they connected up in my mind, but they did. They did. And anyway, so with my tongue dinger in my one hand and my Elmo doll in my other hand, I'm like, all right, Elmo, you annoying little bastard. It's time for you to tickle me. That's old, right? Yeah, okay, okay, it's old. You, you're saying it's old. I gotta ask. What's with the sticker on the top of the hat? Why? Why? It's a shiny thing. Dude. It's, it's a shiny thing, dude. <laughs> Has it come to that, really? Really? So it's more just about shiny shit on you? Yeah, shiny things are awesome. Shiny things are awesome. Okay. All right, that's fair enough. That's the, that's the answer I needed. That goes along with my joke for earlier. That goes along with your joke. What was your joke from earlier again? Which one? Uh, the, the stoned uh, uh, pothead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. So we are going to wrap things up with our big, amazing headliner, uh, a really, a really great friend of mine, and a very, very funny, polished, professional, awesome comedian, Mr. Nathan Hartwig. You still alright? Yeah. All right. Hi, hi, hi. White River Junction. It's nice to be in White River Junction. I don't get down here a lot. White River Junction, I don't know if you know this or not, but White River Junction is um, the number one tourist Vermont destination for people going someplace else. <laughs> it's, it's the moment when they look at the map and the woman goes, Honey, we're coming up on White River Junction, that's why we have to change highways.